Hello YouTubers, YYC Busy Mom here. What you're looking at here is the uh, back plate of my Samsung, Samsung Galaxy Tab to pop off the screen. This was a little difficult because I thought it was between these marks here that you remove this black panel, but it isn't actually. You uh, get it from the front side where, this, where the glass screen is and you get in between and then pop it up all the way around and it just comes right off. And he's got little tabs in there. And, um, well, there was only a little bit. My daughter spilled a whole big cup like this of pop on it. There was not. I wiped it off front and back. It was plugged in at the time. That's what I think has caused this problem of it not starting. There was a tiny bit of uh, droplets there on the back cover. And um, I'm doing this trick we do with cell phones if they get wet. You take the battery out, do not turn it like turn it off, take the battery out, take it apart, put it in a Ziploc bag, and cover it with rice and leave it for a day. I don't have a Ziploc big bag enough. Ziploc bag big enough. So um, I'm gonna do it this way. I've got my little measuring medicine cup there with the screws in it. Put my little. This is from eyeglasses and. Um, Hopefully, and I got the, the end of the charger in here as well. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I took, I actually unscrewed the battery in there, and that's what these screws are from. The battery, I haven't screwed it back together yet. Uh, there was no water underneath the battery or the connections that I could see, and I gave it a tap like you do with a cell phone to see if there's any water that comes out. There was not. Also, Sorry for this. It's there's a little square here. It's called the water tag, and that's right at the opening where this goes in. And it's not pinked out, as they call it. I can't get a good focus on this, but there is a little square there, and it still has its little X's. It's not all completely pinked out, which tells me that it did not get wet. 